Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So in today's video, we're going to have a look at the iPhone 7 Plus. Now the iPhone 7 Plus was released in 2016 and I want to see whether it's worth still picking up right now in late 2019. Now in terms of the device itself, uh, this device has been in a case all its life. So it's in pretty much pristine condition. It doesn't have any damages, scratches at all. Uh, and I have to say that the overall form factor of the iPhone 7 Plus is slightly larger. Uh, and to use the device comfortably, it is definitely a two-handed device uh, since uh, practically using it within one hand is a bit uncomfortable to me personally. Now, uh, as I said, uh, it is an iPhone, so we've come to expect fantastic build quality from Apple with any of their iPhones, and the iPhone 7 Plus is no different. It's a complete aluminum build and feels really, really nice in hand, very high quality and premium build quality for the 7 Plus. Now, the display, however, uh, is one of my favorite aspects of the iPhone 7 Plus. It is a full uh, 1080p HD display, uh, now, it is LCD, but uh, despite all of that, I have to say Apple's display technology on 7 Plus is really, really nice. The It's got the P3 wide color gamut, and the overall quality of the entire display is very good colors, are nice and vibrant. They really do pop, and it's very easily visible in broad daylight or when you're outdoors. Uh, also, the viewing angles of the display are really nice, and overall, it's a fantastic viewing experience. Also, given that it is 5.5 inches, so it's quite large. Uh, right now and also when you are viewing your media or consuming media you don't have any notches or any teardrop punch holes or anything intruding your content so overall i really love the overall display usage experience that the iphone 7 plus offers now uh, one thing that you do not get on the iphone 7 plus is true tone so just keep that in mind However, moving ahead in terms of software, I have to say that most of the features uh, that the newer iPhones do have, you will get all of them on the 7 Plus with iOS 13. So currently this iPhone is running iOS 13.1.2, which is the latest public release of iOS 13. And uh, I have to say that uh, in terms of overall performance of the iPhone 7 Plus right now with iOS 13 is really nice and quick. You're not going to notice any lag or any issues at all. I have to say Apple really does a good job when it comes to optimizing iOS for all of their devices. I, I was even using the iOS 13 betas on the iPhone SE and I have to say that does pretty well as well. So uh, in terms of performance, uh, for late 2019, the iPhone 7 Plus is still pretty capable in holding up uh, in for late 2019 and it's barely slowed down with iOS 13. In fact, I personally think that it's slightly faster uh, than when compared to iOS 12. Now, uh, one thing in terms of uh, software updates is that uh, based on Apple's previous track record, they usually support all of the devices for a minimum of five years. And iOS 13 is the fourth iteration of iOS for the iPhone 7 Plus. And I have to say that uh, I personally feel that uh, Apple will be giving iOS 14 as well to the iPhone 7 Plus. So that would complete the five years of software support for the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus line. So if you're picking up the iPhone 7 Plus, I really don't think you have to worry about software updates. But just remember that uh, iOS 14 might most likely be the final update for the iPhone and 7 and the 7 Plus. Now moving towards the battery, the battery is a 2900 milliamp hour battery. So when the 7 Plus came out, it was really good. It was an all-day device almost, again, complete depending upon your usage. But right now, based on this particular device, the battery life, the capacity is about 81%. So given it's been used for about a year and a half, that's pretty normal. And I have to say that it can get you quiet throughout the day. Again, it's going to completely depend upon what you're doing. But if you are going to push the 7 Plus pretty hard with a lot of 4K video recording, a lot of uh, YouTube and gaming, you might have to top it up at least once throughout the day. But I have to say that uh, overall, the battery life is still doing pretty well for 2019. However, uh, if you have a device with worn batteries, I would suggest just getting the battery replaced and uh, you'll be pretty good from there. Now, lo looking at the cameras, uh, I think this is one strong point for the 7 Plus in late 2019 is that uh, the cameras do offer the dual lenses. So you've got a wide angle lens right there, which is 12 megapixel and another 12 megapixel uh, telephoto lens. You do not have, unfortunately, a, super, a wide, uh, uh, a really wide angle lens. So that's pretty 
unfortunate i guess but uh, otherwise on the front we've got a 7 megapixel selfie camera and i have to say that the overall camera experience of the 7 plus isn't anything uh, that's going to wow people it is a pretty general camera experience you can expect from the iphone now the only difference you will notice from the other iphones before the 7 plus is that you do get the option to zoom two times into the telephoto lens uh, and i have to say that uh, even in portrait mode you do not have those portrait lighting effects that the iphone 8 plus did get so that is something you'll have to keep in mind otherwise it's a pretty standard camera uh, uh, app experience in terms of the photos quality of the iphone 7 plus i have to say that the, the, the 7 plus does take really good photos especially when you've got really good uh, lighting environment however it kind of struggles when it comes to low lighting um, now despite that flash having uh, it's a four flash all of that despite having all of that it really doesn't compare or doesn't stand up to devices like the 10r or the 8 plus when especially when it comes to low light uh, photographs also it, you cannot compare the iphone 7 7 plus photos to the pixel or things like that so in terms of low lighting uh, the 7 plus is starting to lag a bit behind in late 2019 as more phones do uh, better themselves when it comes to low, low lighting photos however one really good uh, stronghold for the iphone 7 plus is in video recording so the camera maxes out at 4k at uh, 30 fps so that is something you'll have to keep in mind. If you really love um, recording 4K, you might, I think you would like to have a look at the iPhone 8 Plus or the iPhone 8 or any of the newer devices since they would offer you 4K at 60 FPS. So the iPhone 7 Plus is maxing out at 4K at 30 FPS. But however, uh, if you look overall at the 7 Plus with what it offers, it's still pretty decent. You get iOS 13 you still uh, do also get the ip67 water and dust resistance you do get the stereo speakers you still uh, also do get that that uh, taptic home button and all of that so overall the features are there however uh, when the camera experience isn't going to be as rich as you would expect uh, from an iphone 10r or the 8 plus uh, but however, I would say that, I, that the iPhone 7 Plus is a decent option in late 2019 for those of you who are on a budget and would still want to get a de pretty decently powerful phone right now for late 2019. Also, if you just want to pick up the iPhone 7, just use it for a bit of time, the 7 Plus is still going to hold up pretty well. But just make sure that you know that the 7 Plus could have just about another years of software update with ios 14 which in my frank opinion would be the final update for the iphone 7 and the 7 plus however if you uh, really want to buy a brand new iphone from apple i would still suggest looking at the iphone 10r which is now further drop down in price at 599 us dollars or looking at the iphone 8 and 8 plus series which are about within the 400 dollar range since those devices are would offer you slightly more value for your money and in overall features the overall package they still do offer slightly much more better uh, performance and features than the iphone 7 plus ever could but i have to say that the overall iphone 7 plus still holds pretty well for 2019 and as we move ahead it's going to become slightly harder to recommend the 7 plus but as it stands right now it makes a perfect budget iphone uh, if you're looking to pick iphones up used uh, now one one more one more thing guys before we uh, close out if you're picking up the iphone 7 plus use just remember that the 7 and the 7 plus were known for uh, loop disease so that is a problem with the audio ic chip on the motherboard that comes off the board so when you do have that issue uh, the phones would be really slow and sluggish and they take a really long time to boot up from the apple logo onto the home screen also another symptom is that you usually do not have audio so you cannot use audio on the iphone you cannot even hear the person on the other line while on a phone call so those are the symptoms of loop disease so just uh, keep that in mind while looking at picking up a 7 or 7 plus from the used market since devices with loop disease are usually not mentioned on their listings and uh, these devices sell at very very attractive prices so just keep that in mind and do your checks before you buy so that's it guys i hope you did like the video if you did hit that like button and that subscribe button and i will see you in the next one